Holy shit. That was some fucking... That's been an intense one, huh? Mercury is in retrograde. Did anyone mention that? Uh, I, I lost the page, too. God, it's true. It really is true. Where is the... I folded it down so this wouldn't happen. <laughs> God damn you, Mercury! Oh, there we go. Oh, the first thing I wrote was, I understand why people in Seattle want to kill themselves. Um, yeah. Pretty, makes sense. Um, man. All right. This rain is fucking terrible. I don't want to do anything. I smoke a lot of weed already, but I still am pretty functional. This rain just, I don't remember. I think it started raining like December 20th or something like that. It's all been a blur since then. I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm tired. I feel like all I've done is eat and watch films that are up for nomination this year. I did watch Avatar and uh, Wakanda Forever. I am a little upset with Disney. I feel like uh, they tried to pull one over on us with all the blue people. I don't know if it's like a, it's a slight like uh, Blue Lives Matter nod or what the fuck is happening, but uh, I, I finally saw Wakanda Forever yesterday. What, yeah, it was great. I, I, I enjoyed it better than Avatar, honestly, but I also don't understand I mean, they're both Disney, so I know there was nothing fishy, no pun intended, going on. Um, but it was interesting that they both had a lot of water and a lot of blue people uh, and a lot of like, oh, we need this whale oil or we need this vibranium. Same fucking thing, guys. Right? Is it, did you, anyone else see the correlation there? No? Is it just me? No, just me. Really? Watch it again. It's fucked up. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought they were both great. Uh, they, I guess they made the other Avatar. Um, I, did, I did enjoy going to a movie with no mask. That was my first time yesterday. Full film, no mask, with a bunch of guild members. It was great. Um, Angela Bassett was there. Uh, there was a Q&A after. The whole time I was like, which one of us might kill Angela Bassett? Not intentionally, just through COVID, because it's the first time everyone's unmasked in a theater together. It's bound to happen. Um, she's also, we're all facing her, asking questions. Like, so, Angela, ha 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 ha, just spit everywhere. Um, yeah, I don't know. Somehow I haven't gotten it. Knock on wood. Papers, wood, counts. Um, what do I have here? Oh yeah, the laughing and crying thing. The rain, it goes back to the rain. Has anyone else recently uh, just found themselves bawling hysterically for no reason? Or is that just me? Yeah, just me, that's sad. Um, well, the thing is, is that sometimes I'm laughing and crying at the same time. It's a great feeling, the whole laughing and crying thing. I used to do it a lot as a child uh, with candy bars. I was a fat kid, um, like uh, he was saying before, um, I lost like 100 pounds. If you're fat and you lose weight, um, you kind of uh, feel like you're better than other fat people, but you definitely still feel fat. Um, it doesn't matter how much weight you lose, I'm pretty sure. Body dysmorphia is a real thing. Um, I'm aware that people find me attractive, but in my mind it's not something that it's clicking. It hasn't really, I'm 40, hasn't clicked yet. I know um, I'm not like, uh, like below a four. But I don't think I'm like a seven or eight. I'll take it. I'll take it. People say I get a, a, a cancery uh, Rob Robert Downey Jr. Sometimes. Yeah, you guys see that? Thank you. I'll take it. Whatever I can get, really above a four. That's where I was pretty much stuck in my mind since I can remember. Um, but uh, that's what they do to you when you're a young man, where I grew up, uh, a Jew, there's not a lot of us. There's just, there's not many. So we are told we have to be a man from 13 once we have our bar mitzvah. 
it's a lot to it's a lot to to pro to, to process and, and to live up to. It's not really um, it's not fair. But what is? Life's not fair. We're all gonna die. So enjoy it. I'm trying to find more joy this year. Just just sip, yeah, it's a joy bell. The joy there's no the joy division. Um, I really oh yeah yeah uh, abortion. Yeah, let's do it. Um, fuck it, let's do it. Uh, I've been waiting to do this one for a while. Uh, fuck it, now's the time. We're just gonna skip right to it. Um, I'm glad that my mother uh, did not abort me. Uh, it was a possibility, I think. Thank you. Uh, her birthday, January 17th, she would have been 70. So happy birthday, mom. She passed when I was 14. She said, don't quit doing what you love. Always do what you love. Don't quit. Treat other people how you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. They said she'd only live till she was 20. She'd never have kids. She had me. That was a risk. She could have died. She had heart issues. Second youngest baby ever operated on at Harvard Medical Center. True story in Boston. Open heart surgery. Four times she had open heart surgery. She lived till she was 45. I just turned 40. So I've been thinking about mortality a lot. Um, and abortion. Uh, because I think women have a right to choose. I, I can't imagine if my mother had the stress of not being able to think about maybe aborting me. Back then, I'm sure, you know, she thought about it. I would have. If my, Do I really want to fucking die for this kid? He might be a shithead. Um, luckily, I am not. Um, but uh, that's up for debate. But um, I still have the, you know, most people, I'm a Jew, like I said, they hate the nagging Jewish mother. What are you doing? And why aren't you married yet? Blah, 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 blah. See, I'm lucky I don't have to deal with that. Most people think. The truth is, I'm very spiritual. I hear her voice constantly nagging. Sometimes I'm like, Mom, I'm, I'm trying to masturbate here. Like, just stop, please. Please, I love you. Stop. I understand. Yes, I know. I need to fucking get my life together. Yes, just let me just rub one out, please, for the love of God. Like... I'm gonna light some sage, just fucking clean out the energy here. Just let me, I need to just zen out, please. But um, yeah, they have all these COVID testing clinics now. I, I think abortion clinics should be the new like hot thing. There's like boutique COVID things. They make us test for all the shows, for SAG, SAG after we have to test, Disney makes you test, Fox. They test you, test you, test you. I had more penetration in my nostrils than I've penetrated anything else in the past three years, by far, like, by far. It's like a college frat house in my nose of penetration. Um, yeah, it's a lot. My nose, I literally got sores from all the fucking Q-tips going up there, just like fucking little cuts here in the edge of my nostrils. Thank you, Disney. Torturous. But yeah, it, I, I think a Borscht, Borshi Borsh is what I want to call the clinics. Borshi Borsh. So you drive up, it's drive up. We, I'm, I'm Polish, Eastern European Jew, makes really good borscht in the family. So you drive up, you get a borscht while you wait for your borscht. And, and, and we call it abortion just so it's like, you know, abortion sounds so, you know, aborty. So we call it borshin, borshies. Just borsh. Hey, what up, borshi? Yo, you're in for a borshi and a borsh? All right, come on in. Um, just chill, just keep it chill. These ladies want to keep it chill, discreet. Um, if the guys, there's abortion ballroom for the guys. There's like billiards, borscht, and, and abortions. So whatever you want, um, any, we're, and we, we're gonna have like a speakeasy side too, where it's like, uh, if you're into it, like do your own borscht. Um, it's cheaper, but you have to clean everything up. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, also, thank you. Uh, I also, I, I, I think that it's important for women to, you know, have a choice. Um, healthy competition in the abortion game. Planned Parenthood shouldn't have a monopoly on the shit. Um, you know, I think, I think that's only fair. Also, uh, uh, if you want to uh, get eggs there, you can get eggs too. Uh, you can drop your eggs off. We do a whole embryo frozen freezer borscht, freezer eggs. I don't know. Just, just a thought. I just know that the market's coming and, and California's pretty chill, so we're on top of that COVID game. Um, yeah, that's all. I just, uh, let me see if there's anything else fancy before I go. Um, hmm. No, I think I covered pretty much all of it. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, hopefully I'll get laid soon. It's, that's, it's, it needs to happen. Jesus Christ. It's been a while. Fucking dating apps, man. It's, it's a terrible thing. I don't want to pay for them because if I don't, I'm not in, it's like worse than prostitution in there. It's like I'm paying to maybe meet somebody. Prostitution, you know, I'm getting laid and I know what I'm paying for, bam, wham, bam, and done. I'm not wham, bam, but hopefully a few minutes. I want to get my money's worth. Thank you guys. My name is Evan Shaffron. I appreciate you. Have